take a look at the matchup for our main event. Angel Fierro, Eduardo Estela, two fighters who crave action, the knockout artist. Angel Fierro and the upset-minded Eduardo Estela, who's looking for his second straight upset victory to spoil the party and the world title hopes of Angel Fierro. It should be a banger. We're in for a great fight. Here we go. And they started throwing punches. Immediately. Fierro right after Eduardo Estela in the opening seconds of this fight. You know what? Nunez just left this ring hot. Because when you see a knockout like that, these next guys coming up want the same knockout victory. And you can tell that they want it. They're looking for it. Look at the aggression coming from both sides. A right hand behind the head coming from Fierro. But Fierro getting a little bit out of control in pursuit of that knockout. A shot behind the head. A warning from the official. And things settle down ever so slightly for the first time in the opening 40 seconds of this contest. Or maybe these guys must have watched the Creed movie, you know, the Creed 3 premiere, and now they're heated with it. That's right. <laughs> Unloading body, head, everywhere he can take it, right hand over the top. No great Good restart. straight there by Fierro. Oh, he's going to lose the point. The fans don't like it much, but... A shot behind the head has penalized Fierro. I mean, there was a brief warning, Jesse, in the opening round, but... Not much three, warning, though, right? No, not... Usually not giving takes, him too many opportunities. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Usually it takes two or three warnings before they take the point, but this ref decided to put a stop to it early. I mean, that is a dangerous shot. Oh, 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 oh. Shot down from Fierro! He hooked him! Estella holding on, grabbing hold of the arm of Fierro! Estella, right now! Estella, right in front of us, nearly tumbling through the road! Like a tiger going for his prey. Another hook by Fierro. Estella is in a world of trouble right now. With 20 seconds remaining in the round. He's not all there. You can tell. You can look the glaze in his eye. Oh, he can't even keep his equilibrium on. Is he going to survive? The bell saves him. In between rounds, Eduardo Estella took about 30 seconds to go for a walk, and he did not look steady as he tried to gather himself, and he also spit out his mouthpiece as he slumped onto the stool. But look at Estella. Look at the heart of Estella. Still trying to fire back in the midst of this onslaught. Oh, yeah, look at that heart. I mean, he's, he really came out trying to win this round. Using that jab, keeping him at bay, keeping him at distance, always like saying, you're not gonna hurt me again, right? And it just continued him, one, two, straight jab, just like he's doing now. But he just got caught with that right uppercut. He needs to get on the outside, continue moving the ring. If he gets caught, he can go down once again. That same shot that hurt him in the second round. Estella bothered again. Hard oh. right hand from Estella. That was a great right hand. And that one, I think, has caused immediate swelling under the left eye of Angel Fierro. Hey. Good counter shot down from Fierro. Estella still dipping down into those shots. Fierro is relentless. Nothing is stopping him. Fierro was penalized for that shot behind the head, but how much of that is the posture of Estella consistently dipping down the way that he is? He still lands the shot over the top, you know, behind the head, so it's still with an illegal shot. Right, regardless, right. yeah. So I would say, you know, he should be warned. Maybe not. Oh, what a right hand. He shouldn't have been taken a point, in my opinion, but he should have been warned immediately. Right. And he needs to put a stop to it because those rabbit punches are dangerous. Oh, what a right hand. What a right hand. There, Estella starting to shell up. You see, that was not a legal shot. Oh, hard left hook. The tree on him. So Fierro and Estella crumples to the mat. That was two hard left hooks. That took him down. Shook him first. Took him down. Wow. But the grit that the Uruguayan fire is showing. Unbelievable courage. But at what point will his body fail him as Fierro pounds away along the ropes? He's hurt. He's hurt. Fierro unloading. 
But does he have enough left in the tank to finish the job here in the fourth? Well, the Wildfire came back with his own right uppercut just now. So, yes, a lot to defend himself with. A hard left hand again. Estella is wobbled. But still coming back with his own. Unbelievable heart. save him he's back up to his feet somehow and this fight will continue if the corner of Eduardo Estela will allow it what a right hand what a finish to that round hit the canvas at the bell ring action Uruguayan fighter set up. Look, look at to have his defense straight up. Doesn't want to get caught with another one of those punches. He knows the dangers that creep in behind the punches. Oh. Red roll is back. And Stella coming in. One, two. Right hand over the top again from Estella, but Fierro back on top of him. Trying to make it a little more overconfident in the last round, and still to this time right now. Oh, even though he landed a nice one, too. Oh, oh, two! Now Fierro starting to come alive once again. The right hand's raining in. Back comes Estella. And that will be Roll the Slip. That was a nice hook as well from Fierro. Oh, good. A triple hook. Now what two, what two! A hard right hand. After that flashy sequence from Estella, it's a straight right hand from Fierro that backs Estella up to the ropes. You gotta admire the courage coming from Stella. Being caught with so many big punches and still trying, oh, what a hook by Stella. Still trying to win this fight. Still trying to be in it. Thirty seconds remain here in round seven. Stella trying to roll with these shots along the ropes as he has all night long. Having more success in doing so than before, but still, these types of sequences do not look good to judges. Yeah. This show, oh, what a right to the body. This, this sequence is showing, oh, what a left hook. That was a tremendous hook that landed once again. As much as Stella was looking to defend himself, to move away from those big shots, he was still getting caught one way or another. 